Okay, I don't know what the heck just happened. My, like, video just stopped recording. Like, so the cars that came out was the letter N and then New Karmic Cycle. And then after that, I pulled Don't Forget to Relax and then Seventh House Libra, which sucks because, like, I don't know what just happened. Um, but I feel like with the M and New Karmic Cycle... I was gonna say it could be someone's first, last, middle, initial name of a wardrobe place, but I feel like with the don't forget to relax, I, you're being told to just stay in that four of swords energy, like healing, resting, relaxation, minding your own business. And the reason why this M, minding your own business, is also like you can know that there's a new karmic, that these people are having a new karmic cycle. I have, I have no idea where it cut off. Like, I was saying a bunch of stuff too. Like, but so these people are in a new karmic cycle or something is about to happen to them but it's not exactly a new karmic cycle it's actually they're just gonna be put back where they had left off and what i mean by left off is kind of like they try to step on you by smiling in your face kind of like they, they try to step on you to like get ahead and it was working it was but that's temporarily because now God's about to humble them and put them exactly where they, you know, like the little Google guy, how you can pick up the Google guy and place, place him anywhere on the map. It's like that. So it's like God is picking these people up and putting them back on the map where they belong. And it's like these people with the seventh house Libra, they want to like work with you. They want to partner up with you, like be friends with you. But it's like the first time they were already in your energy, smiling at you and being your friend. You thought it was genuine. But what you did not realize before, it was that they were only doing that to get ahead. And now that they can't get ahead anymore, they want to partner up with you and work with you. And you're being told, don't let them come around you. Because they're only coming around you because they're having, also with M money issues, they're having money issues. And that's not your business. With this, like, you're supposed to be in the four of swords, just minding your own business, resting, relaxation, taking naps, just like... You know, someone rings the doorbell, you just, you know, I'm, I'll get it another time. That's not, you know, like, you don't have anything to do right now. You could just, like, a mental vacation, just relaxing, just minding your own business. So you know that these people are going through some new karmic cycle, but that's not your problem. Because you're being told to don't forget to relax. Remember, that's not your business. What these people are going through, it's not your business, right? So you know that they want to work with you. If they can't work with you, there's... There's something, there's like a, they're, they're having, I feel like they don't know how to work with you or like how to approach you to the way where they want to work with you. But you already know because it's like the first time I let you get close to me, I thought you were genuinely smiling because you were happy to see me. But here you were, like you were just actually, you know, being, what is it? It's like Judah, right? You were being Judah behind my back, lying on me and making sure I wouldn't like, and here's the thing too, like the lies when they were lying about you. There was no way you could defend yourself because you had no idea that these lies were even happening, right? So how can you defend yourself on something you know nothing about? And I feel like whoever these people were, whoever this person was, they made sure that these lies about you could not be proven otherwise. Again, like that's where that voodoo doll is with the mouth being sewed shut. It's like somebody was making sure that like either they were actually doing a voodoo doll or they were just like, I don't know, doing some other shit, but it's like they were making sure that no one could attest their lies and now God is about to humble them. So if they, for example, if they did a voodoo doll and sewed the mouth shut, that stitch has been cut. It could be a Libra or it could just be like the fact that these people want to like, it's crazy too because this person, it, it, Libra, the seven Pass is also about open enemies. This person was smiling at you. You could have had an inkling about this person too and like kind of just passed over it. Like you could have known that this person secretly did not like you, but because they were like so smiley and like it just seemed so genuine, how could they, <laughs> like I know it's naive to think, but it's like, how could they not like me? Like they seem so nice. Like that's very naive to think, but I feel like this person knew that you would like, not dig into that as well just like they were ba like banking literally banking on the fact that nobody would dig into their lies about you uh, 
Okay, so this better not cut off again. I have no idea why that shit cut off. But I, it's really annoying when that happens to my videos. The universe thanks you. Leo, fifth house, this could be about your strength. The, so the universe is thanking you because of how strong you are, how strong you've been throughout this entire situation. So the universe is thanking you in many ways right now. So you're being gifted in many ways right now. It could be through, you know, they're giving you more creativity, more energy, um, the ability to be able to self-express yourself more, which is why I'm saying that uh, that thread on the voodoo doll mouth has been cut because you can express yourself more. You're able to follow your heart more as well. There's also something about romance. You're also very energetic and playful. I know the strength card is Leo and Tarot. People can actually see your strength now on top of that. This karmic cycle that these people are in, that this masculine and this feminine are in, it's, um, they're on the edge of something. They're trying to hide something. More. Letter M for more. I feel like a more, what is that? A more like, a more is like that kind of dugout trench that you fill with water around a castle. Let me look something up. Yeah, a tract of open, uncultivated upland, a heath, a little town in the moors. A boggy area dominated by grasses and sedges. A habitat characterized by low growing vegetation and acidic oils. Soils. So that's what they're trying to hide. They're just. Like, you ever look at a swamp and it just looks foggy and like heavy? And, like, oh, there's bugs everywhere, and, like, it kind of stinks, too. And it's just, like, it's the complete opposite of being at the beach, where the beach is, like, pleasant, it's refreshing, it's open, it's clean. Versus a swamp, it's, like, dark and dirty and damp. I feel like that's the reason why these people try to, like, you, you can't... This is who they really are. They're just dark and dirty and damp people and they try to cover your like energetic energy how strong you are these people like they're uncomfortable being themselves like if you go to a swamp if you see a swamp like you just want to like ugh right you just like tend to like coil within yourself because it's just like ugh, like it's just like it gives you like that gross and dirty feeling i feel like that's how they feel about themselves versus like you in this fifth house leo energy like it's like the complete opposite like at a beach you're free like it's clean it's fun it's vibrant it's 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 refreshing that's crazy Scorpio, 8th house, transformation. Yeah, this is changing. This whole dynamic, it's changing. There's a lot of changing here. These people need to uh, heal. It could be a Scorpio. So we have Leo, Libra, Scorpio. So you could be a Scorpio, Libra, or Leo, or this could be um, uh, some sort of dynamic duo with a Scorpio, a Libra, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Leo, Libra, Leo, Scorpio. You take it how it resonates, right? But... Um, with Scorpio being here, there's a change happening. Um, this is whatever they're trying to do, it's been put to an end. 
I really feel like they tried to like shut your mouth, like so it shut. Like somebody was messing with a voodoo doll. But by the grace of God, you know, the mouth is cut open. These people are, this is what I'm talking about because the Scorch House is also um, healing. The Eighth House, transformation and healing requires some type of death, loss, or injury. And then the Bible verse says, Say to the king and to the queen mother, humble yourselves, sit down, for your rule shall collapse the crown of your glory. So this is, this is, in this scenario, in this situation, for these two people, this would be the only way for them to sit down and humble themselves, right? The loss of everything that they have, everything that they gained by stepping on you and betraying you, it's, it has to be all, it, in order for something to be put right as well in God's eye, you know, it, even if that means that everything that they gained by stepping on you, wealth, health, money, glory, fame, attention, promotions, whatever, even if that has to be taken away, it's just, it is what it is. Because at this point, it's like, I told you, you didn't listen. So now I have to humble you in the worst way possible for you. But in the end, it, it, it should help your healing. Because there's a re like, why else are these people so like, given that swamp energy? Like, why are you so miserable and dark and just uncomfortable? Right? So let me take everything back. So you can sit down and start being in that four of energy, that four of swords energy, right? So. Hold on. So anyways, um, so yeah, so that's that. I hate having to upload like broken videos like it's annoying but it's still gonna get done so gonna get done. I literally forgot everything I just said. woman because i had a dream last night well i had like tons of dreams but in one of the dreams there's a um there's a woman right um there's a, there's a woman an older woman who like wants you to like respect her but you know and she knows that you know everybody knows that she doesn't like you but she's expecting you to kiss her ass Or there's like, yeah, no, it's like, uh, you know, there's just so much of that. Mm. It was like a, a someone's grandmother, but she had dark hair, like black brunette and she was dark she had like dark skin um so this could be your grandmother or someone's grandmother um whether or not they're like deceased 
or alive, but I feel like it was more like they were deceased. Someone's deceased grandmother does not like you. And it's like that. Oh my God. It kind of like passed on, like those feelings of like, just like, like, you know, how like when you are around someone who you just know, you just can feel it that they don't like you. Right. It's like that. So it's like someone's, like those feelings kind of just got passed down. Like, you know how trauma gets passed down and like love gets passed down and knowledge gets passed down and things like that. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know, maybe someone's ancestor did not like your ancestor and it just kept passing down and passing down and passing down and passing down until here we both are, right? So I don't, but it has to be recent because it was someone's grandmother, right? And it was recent enough for the grandmother to be aware of you. Ah. So the reason why I'm saying that is because someone's spirit does not like your spirit. Um, and your spirit could have picked up on that, but because you're also trying to give everyone like the benefit of the doubt and like, just trying to like be in that self love energy and like, you know, everybody should love themselves and be happy and because you love yourself. Like it's, you may have picked up on that, that this person didn't like you. But you wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt or you tried to like still be friends with everybody despite the fact that like this person is smiling at me. They're they're being nice to me. They it, it can't be that they don't really like me. But two faced friend is the first card that came out. Wow. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles on the fence. She's having trouble with her finances. She's having trouble with her stability. Her stability, her finances. She's struggling because she feels like she has to go back to the beginning to something. Or like she's being put back. Uh, I don't know. This person feels like she's being some. Okay. The feminine, the queen mother in this, right? So it's there's the feminine and the masculine. The feminine is being put in her place. I feel like she's going to get put in her place first. I feel like also these two people are different from the two people in my reading yesterday. Um, but the feminine, the karmic feminine, the wife or the queen mother or the girlfriend or whatever, whoever she is, your ex-friend, whatever, she's being put in her place. I feel like you made this person very insecure. This person is very insecure. So I feel like one of the reasons why they were stepping on you, lying on you, betraying on you is because it feel, they felt like if they betrayed you, it would get them out of something. Like... You see it all the time. It's kind of like, you know, how singers, you know, there's like a group of singers and there's like that one singer who's like obviously the best of them all. So and then, then they get offered like the contract, the music deal. Someone felt like you were getting something that wasn't theirs. Or that wasn't, like, that should have been shared. But it's like, we can't all share my voice, right? We can't all share my personality. We can't all share my gifts. Like, we can't all share my one-bedroom apartment. Like, what? Someone, like, whoever this person is, they were, I don't know, something about you just made them very insecure. And they just felt like, well, if they're going to get a contract deal, then... I don't know, I'll, I'll do something to betray them and I'll get the contract deal instead. Some, some, hold on, my phone keeps going off. All right, sorry. Um, just work stuff. Uh, 
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So. Okay, so this person, obviously, they're insecure. So it could have been a Scorpio jealous of a Libra or a Libra jealous of a Scorpio. Which, honestly, like, I detest jealousy. I really do. I feel like jealousy is so, especially from a woman jealous of another woman, I feel like jealousy is so beneath your character as a woman, like, there's nothing wrong with, like, having a little bit of, like, insecurities or whatever, like, a little jealousy here and there, right? Because jealousy, it, it could be good for a competition, but, like, for to betray people because you're jealous and you're feeling insecure and, like, Whoever this person is, they want to be around you again. Like, that's that seventh house Libra. They want to partner up with you. They're stuck. They're stuck. But I don't they're, I don't think they realize that with the eighth house here, you the situation has changed. The situation, the situation is no longer the same. So let's say if they tried to come back at a different time, it, it would have been possible. But the situation, the time is is different now. They're also already going through what they're supposed to be going through. Like, they're being humbled right now through God. And it's like, you're in the middle of a karmic storm. Like, you're in the middle of something. It's like, these people are in the, are in the middle of a car crash, and they're trying to, like, get out of the car. Or, like, call you. Or, like, you're literally in the middle of something. You, you can't You can't do anything. Like these people, like you know how like when you're in the middle of falling, like everything is like in slow motion. It it's like that. Like you're literally in the middle of something. It's the situation has changed. So they're in the middle of like losing everything, losing. I don't know. They're just. But that's again, you're being told. Don't forget to relax. That's not your business. That's not your business. It doesn't matter if they want to come back. That's not your business. Even if they want to come back and smile and mend the bridge, make things work, that's not your, like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, this person could be, like, in your face, hey, how are you? Hold on one second. Okay, so, what was I saying? <clears throat> Nine of Wands. Okay, let me get one more for the Nine of Wands. The Hermit. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely your energy right now. The Hermit and the Nine of Wands. <laughs> sorry uh you're just keeping to yourself with the four um i was gonna say four of swords but that's what i keep getting when i hear don't forget to relax the four of swords with the nine of wands and the hermit um as long as you keep to yourself and you keep doing what you have to do mind your own business you'll always you know find the strength to keep going also you with that leo fifth house energy like you know you always find the strength to keep going the nine of wands is kind of the card where it's like you may be the last one standing, but you're standing no matter what, right? You may be bruised and battered and tattered, but you're still there. You're still fighting the good fight. And in this situation, it's the universe is thanking you for not giving up. And the feminine in this karmic couple, um, she sees you standing, right? I also feel like your bruise and scars and all that, your battle wounds, they, it can't be seen. They're there. You have them. 
but it's like they cannot be seen. What is being seen by you is this relaxed, creative, playful energy. And this Queen of Wands, she's like, I want some of that. Let me get back in touch with the collective. But there's no way for this person to get in touch with you. They can't. You left this person. This is the shape of an L. You left this person. The situation behind, that's why I'm saying the situation has changed. It's not what it once was, where if they wanted to come back or if they had a way in with you, there, there's no way that these people can come back. So the situation has changed. All right, let me get a couple more because I have to... Um, I'm about to call you. All right, let me, um, yeah, let me finish this. Knight of Cups. The universe is giving you a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah. Um, the so here's the thing, right? This is so cool actually. What the the universe thanks you, the universe is giving you a bunch of stuff and it's making you happy. Um there's also something with the hermit card and the cat in the box. <laughs> There's something about your intuition, and I know the Hermit isn't really about intuition, not entirely. It's more about, like, going within and doing all that stuff. But the only reason why you're going within and doing all that stuff is because there was something that you were curious about, right? Something alerted you. Um, so I feel like the Ten of Wands reverses with the don't forget to relax. Whatever burdens were placed on you or whatever burdens made you seem like you had, like if this person was lying about you, saying that you have this, you have that, you have this, you have that going on, you can't do this, you can't do that, like like your life is just full of messes and burdens, that's not true. That's not true. There's no burdens in your life. You're resting, you're relaxing, you're vibrant, you're lively, you're energetic, you're creative, you're artistic, you're happy, you're intelligent, right? The You're being blessed. You could also be having a new love or being offered uh, some love or whatever but you're ten of wands reverse there's nothing burdening you right now in your life nothing and this person this the feminine um that was smiling in your face and lying behind you and betraying you and being all like judas right that person is like i want some of that but i feel like on a grander scale everybody is seeing like okay this person like whoever this Queen of Pentacles on the fences, she is a mess. This, whatever's going on with her is a mess, right? And I feel like, I also feel like what is also being hidden is you in that Nine of Wands energy. That was being hidden from you. Nobody saw, despite the fact that you were bruised and battered and scarred up and torn and bit and scratched and backstabbed and bleeding and Nobody can. Nobody sees the battles that you've gone through. Nobody has seen the war that you've been in, the fighting and all. Nobody sees that. Nobody can see that. Like, that's hidden from everybody. Nobody can see that. But again, it's not a bad thing because that's not really anyone's business. But I feel like this person doesn't also... This, this queen... Oh my gosh, sorry. This karmic feminine, she also doesn't see that she just sees you having like your life is free of responsibilities free of burdens like you're just living the good life and that's only what she's she's only seeing the surface because underneath all of this is the nine of wands and i remember in my i believe it's in this deck my alice in wonderland tarot deck the nine of wands guy which is like humpty or dumpty i don't right here Yeah, like his pants are tattered. And I know some cards, like the Nine of Wands person is like scratched up and bruised and battered and like. Yeah. 
Nobody has seen the battles that you've gone through. Like all that hurt, pain, and all that stuff, betrayal. The same people that they lied to you about are the same people that's going to turn against them as well. They could already be turning against them. Like whatever community, whatever group that they built by lying on you because they just thought that you were just living the good life and everything just works out perfectly for you. Those people are turning against them. Also, your intuition is on high alert when it comes to this karmic feminine. It's like you don't <laughs> you don't really have to do anything because your intuition is just going to tell you something. It just tells you things. Your intuition could have been telling you something about this person for a very, 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 very long time. Like just sitting there in the back of your mind. But you wanted to be all, you know, well, they're, they're being nice to me. No, no, they're my friend. They're my friend, right? Let's, you know. Sometimes you just have to get to that point where, you know, Judas comes and like backstabs you and then now, uh, you know, sometimes it happens like that. So in this situation, it kind of happened that way. But anyway, so um, I feel like that's that. All you had, yeah, you just, yeah, you just, I feel like your intuition was also telling you to leave this person, to leave these friends, to leave these people, but because of the love that you had for them. You know, it, it's it's it, what well, you couldn't, but it's like your intuition, your spirit, angel, ancestors, God, everybody knew that, which is why you may not have been on high alert, but everybody was on high alert for you because they knew how much love and, you know, you just saw them as your friends, your family, your coworkers, your business partners, like your neighbors, right? You just saw them in that good light, but your intuition, everybody, your spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, gods, everybody was still letting you know. Right, it, they were still gonna tell you. They were still letting you know. They were still giving you the messages like you gotta leave, you gotta leave, you gotta leave. You know. So, anyways, um, yeah, man. Sometimes the love that you have for people will hold you back. So you know, the heart's a funny thing. All right, bye.